Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we're going to do a really interesting video today. Um, that was Kneebody by the way, wicked band if you want to check them out. Anyway, um, we're going to do a wicked video today. I'm going to be putting up head to head a jazz bass and a P bass and we're going to be doing two tests that I want you to be a part of, okay? So I'm gonna be taking this Nate Mendel P bass and we're gonna be putting it head to head with this custom shop jazz bass stack pot. So the cool thing about this video, guys, is that we're running two tests, okay? Test A will be putting them head to head all the pickups on the jazz bass, they're just gonna be wide open. So it's gonna be that jazz bass sound against the P bass sound, and then you're gonna to have to, you know, you're gonna to have to guess in the comments to which one was the jazz bass. And then test B, the second test, and this is for you more advanced guys that might really know the difference already between a jazz bass and a P bass. Test B is going to be testing the jazz bass neck pickup against the P bass pickup and that's gonna be a little bit tougher for you guys. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, there's a huge difference between a, um, the jazz bass neck pickup and the P bass pickup, but is there? Let's check it out in this video. And before we get any further, guys, we've got a leak in the studio. Just check this out. Look at this. This was from last night. Essentially, we're leaking up there. We've got a leak. I came in this morning and there was, I was just sitting at the desk and there was this like drip, drip, drip. I was like, yeah, you're killing me. There's been guys, the roof is being um, fixed next door. And in the process of fixing next door's roof, the, uh, the roofers have damaged our roof. So we've got a leak. And before we go any further, guys, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. You're thinking, what about the Sire Base giveaway? The Sire Base giveaway. Well, in this video, I'm going to choose the winners. And I say winners because as you guys know, Sire were cool enough to send us a heap of jazz bass. Uh, well, uh, how many basses? Just a ton of basses. And uh, we did a review and I did a cool video where I did the, the, uh, the Sire jazz bass versus a custom shop bass. Uh, like, you know, hun well, over 100,000 people have watched that video just in the last few weeks, which was a ton of fun to put together. But in this video, we're going to pick the winners, okay? And as I said in the last video, in the, in the giveaway video where I, you know, told you all about the giveaway that we were doing, I said that I was going to keep... Uh, some some of the bases to do uh, for giveaways inside the academy at SBL, but the others I was going to give away to you guys. So in this video, I'm going to pick three winners. Okay, we're going to be sending three Sire jazz bases around the world to their new homes. I'm going to be telling you in this video who won them. Okay, guys. So these are the bases of the day. We've got a Nate Mendel Fender. Um, one of my one of my favourite bases, and we've got a 1962 custom shop reissue. Okay, so jazz bass, P bass. So the first initial test is I want you to guess which is the jazz bass. Okay, which is the jazz bass? Is it bass one or is it bass two? What I'm going to do, I'm going to play both bases. Um, the the tone and the volume on the P bass are going to be wide open, and the tone and the volume on the jazz bass is going to be wide open as well. Both pickups on the jazz bass. Again, this is just test A. And I want you to let me know in the comments which you think is the jazz bass, either bass one or bass two. Okay, so here is bass number one. Okay, so now we've got bass number two. Okay, 
Okay, so right now guys, in the comments, I want you to tell me which one was the jazz bass. Bass one or bass two? And for both tests, don't worry, I'm gonna tell you the, uh, the answer at the end of this video, along with who won the sire bass as well. So in the comments, okay, I'm waiting for you, go do it. In the comments, I want you to let me know for test A, which one was, uh, which one was the jazz bass? Base one or base two? Go do it! Okay, so now you've done that guys, we're going to get into test B and this is the really fun one because this is where we're going to put up the jazz bass neck pickup, only the neck pickup against the P bass okay, against the P-Bass. The reason why this is really interesting is because a lot of people say, you know, you can get a, a P-Bass type of vibe from the, uh, the jazz bass neck pickup soloed on its own, okay? And there's also a whole lot of people that say it, it doesn't sound anything like a P-Bass, right? So that's why this is fun because it's gonna test all you guys out to see if you can really tell the difference between a P-Bass pickup and a jazz bass neck pickup on its own. Test B, uh, bass one. Let's do this. Okay guys, this is bass number two. So test B, bass number two. Okay guys, so in the comments, I want you to guess which one was which, okay? I, I want you to guess which one was the P bass. So write in the comments, test B, and then write bass one or bass two, okay? So I want you to guess which one was the P bass. Was it bass one or bass two? Okay guys, are you ready? So for test A, I asked you which one was the jazz bass, bass one or bass two, and this was bass two. So huge congrats to everybody that was uh, correct on that one. Test B, I asked you to guess which one was the P bass. Was it bass one or was it bass two? And this one's a little bit more difficult because we were only using the neck pickup of the jazz bass. And I'm happy to say that it was Base one that was the P base. So there you go guys. Hopefully you had a ton of fun trying to guess which one was which. I know I had a ton of fun recording this video for you guys. So I'm guessing that you probably want to know who won the sire thing, right? Who won the sire bases? Let's get on with it. They actually sent us so many of these sire bases that I've had to uh, just count them to make sure we've got all of them. Okay, so we've got the white with the taut scratch plate. We've got this bad boy. That's a really nice one actually. We've got the PJ, we've got the five string with the ash body, we've got the four string with the black body, we've got this beauty, yeah, that is awesome isn't it, wow. And then we've got this one here as well, which is a fretless. So for this giveaway guys, I've got this bit of software that randomly chooses YouTube comments. I'm just gonna pick three guys randomly, it's like a, what's it called DMAC? No pressure, no pressure. Is it random picker? Useless. Let's do this. So I'm just going to open the, actually I've got it open here. So what do I have to do? I have to enter YouTube video URL. Here we go. Dump it in there. Boom. Wow, look at this, it's going through it. You can see it. Oh, it's loading 15,153. This could take a while. We might skip forward in the video in this bit. 
7,000 comments loaded, 8,000 comments, just a few more to go. Okay guys, this is it, I'm gonna press the button. Nashon Fong. I love the black vintage V5s, they're crazy about the sound. I think you should send me either of the bases because they aren't available here in Fiji. The base is going to Fiji. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Let alone any good brand name bases. Oh, I'm so pleased it's going to Fiji. I don't know why, it just, it's just a lot cooler than sending it to like Sheffield. It's going to Fiji! <laughs> Next, so that's first winner, okay? So second, and, and, and Nashon said the, the black vintage one is the one. Here you go. Let's do another one. Here we go. Um, Uli Herman, Uli Herman, let's click on it so I've got it. Uli Herman, side bass, I just got, I like the white jazz bass the most. Yep, there's, there's only one white jazz bass, it's probably my favourite, that one actually, that and the black one actually. And then lastly, you ready guys, here we go, pick around a winner, God, God Loof. God Loof. side bass, I love the look of the sound of the translucent red one. Everybody's picked a different one. We're okay, everybody's picked a different one. Translucent red. Oh, that'll be the, the M5, I think it's called. Translucent red base with the white, with the white. Oh, so that's a bit, so my feet, my three favorites have gone. <laughs> so that's, um, we've had um, Godi Loof, uh, Nash and Fawn, and Uli Herman. A uh, special shout out to uh, Nashon as well, because I'm so pleased I'm sending one of the bases to Fiji. Okay guys, so I'm about to tell you about another giveaway, so don't click away, okay, I want you to, uh, to check this out. Uh, but firstly, I just want to say a massive thanks to everybody that was involved, firstly in this video, uh, commenting below, I would really, really love it if you obviously liked and shared this video, it'd mean the world to me. Um, and also, thank you to everybody that took part in the Sire uh, competition as well. Three bases zooming around the way uh, the world, zooming around the way, zooming their, their zooming their way around the world. And um, I also should tell you, I, I forgot last week actually. I should tell you that Damien Erskine, the monster Damien Erskine, who is a faculty member at SBL, and um, he released a course just was it last week, D Mac? Yeah. D Mac. Last week, yeah, it was last week, all oh, the week before. Um, Damien Erskine, he released this amazing uh, course into Scott Space Lessons, the course library over at Scott Space Lessons. I'm going to show you the trailer for Damien's course at the end of this video. Um, so if you do like the look of it, go over to scottspacelessons.com, obviously, and uh, and check out all of our courses. Uh, essentially, it's the ultimate online bass school for bass players like you trying to get their bass playing to the next level. Um, and the giveaway, there's a giveaway coming up guys in a couple of weeks time where I'm going to let you guys choose one of my bases. Okay, so look out for that, it's coming in a couple of weeks time, it's going to be a ton of fun. Other than that, as always, see you in the shed, take it easy. In this course, um, I'll be focusing primarily on right hand technique, specifically utilizing three fingers, um, as well as some harmonic awareness um, using chords and uh, chord changes from jazz standards. I think anybody uh, looking to expand their rhythmic, technical, or harmonic awareness, which should be just about everybody. Um, a lot of it may be geared more towards intermediate players and certainly, you know, certainly advanced. Uh, there's stuff there for them too. I try to make it uh, available for everybody. So primarily intermediate and above and anybody looking to expand. The common mistakes I find a lot of students make is simply trying to move uh, too fast too soon. I think the key to any of uh, this learning, but certainly developing speed and technique and internalizing harmonic awareness, the key really is taking your time, working slowly and with intention through the material and internalizing things as, as best as you can and at whatever pace is necessary. Um, in order to move fast, you really need to move slow because if you go too quickly through this stuff, um, you're just going to get more and more confused possibly and frustrated. Um, so I think just taking things at a proper pace is key. Hi, I'm 
I'm Damian Erskine. If you want to work on your technical development and harmonic awareness, check this course out.